not really invited, but you're there. I can't stand it. 
Thank you, you're so kind, we appreciate it. It's awfully nice to be with you folks. You're listening to The Urban. I'll do my best to introduce the guys I swing along through the show for you. We're gonna do a little hand clapping, foot stomping, sing along music for you. If you wanna join in, we'd love to have you. Let's go out in a blaze of blue. But we feel hard when we get started. We're falling out like we feel in. So let's go out in a blaze of glory. All good things must end. Like two heroes in a story. Let's go out like we came. And hurt each other Cause that would be our worst mistake So honey, once again Let's act like lovers One more time for old time's sake Let's go out In a blaze of glory All good things must end I think I, well, well, thank you very much. Welcome to the White House. I'm glad you could all make it here this evening. And Mickey is the sometime cowboy to an urban cowboy. That was just wonderful, and thank you very much. Thank you.
you very much. You know, we have a music hall here in Washington, too. It's, it's up there it's on a hill. It's called the Capitol. And um, we got lots of vocal talent, but um, we're not always so good when it comes to carrying the harmony. Me. That's why I always enjoy these get-togethers with Congress. Rest of the year, we have our differences, but uh, times like these allow us to, just a moment to stop being Republicans and Democrats and just eat uh, and enjoy. Now, you won't mind, will you, if I tell them a little thing here that I understand happened at Mickey Gillies rest, what, restaurant lose, lose saloon? The um, did we lose the mic? Did we? That one sounds better than this one. Uh, or maybe I'll get a feedback if I get to use them all, huh? Well, anyway, I understand that a real tough young cowboy came in one night and said to one of your waiters there, I want a real rare steak. And in about three minutes, the waiter was back with a platter and a steak on it, and the kid took one look at it and says, take it back. And he said, you said you wanted a real rare steak? And the kid said, I've seen cows hurt worse than this. Get up and walk away. <laughs> Now, I only did that as an excuse to just tell a little something that I saw in the Milwaukee Journal not too long ago that actually might, in a, you could stretch it, and it might apply to the activities of all of us, our friends out here and myself and things we go through. This was a woman that's been reading about all the crime and the violence and so forth and became frightened enough that she started studying judo. And she really did. She studied and she went through all the stages of that till she was a master of the art all the way to the very top. And then one night, the thing she dreaded happened. She was walking down the street, it was about 9.30, and a fellow stepped out of a doorway and grabbed her, this judo expert. She hit him over the head with her umbrella. <laughs> oh, I, uh, again, I just want to say that uh, because although the executive branch may complain about the legislative branch uh, a lot and vice versa, the U.S. Congress remains the greatest invention in self-government this world has ever seen. And all of you in the Senate and the House uh, do it proud. Maybe it's natural that in the heat of legislative combat we focus on our differences but this season, let's also try to remember how much we have in common, the great love we have for this blessed land of ours and our desire that comes before all else to do what's best for America. As I said, we've got a lot of work to do this fall. So, speaking for Nancy and myself, let me just say again what a great pleasure it is to have all of you here and now once again, and I think speaking for all of you, and this time you won't mind if I speak for you, and that is Mickey and all of your talented artists here. God bless you and thank you very much for the generous and warm way you've entertained us. So big. Thank you, Mr. President. And I'll tell you what, I brought a gift from Gillies, the world's largest nightclub, to present to you. Just don't put your fingers in that snake. I don't want you to get snake bit. Yeah, I, I see that. Just for you. Thing. That's for me. Huh? Come on. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. I thought you'd get a big bang out of that. So. I, I not only will, but um, I look forward to wearing it in some of the meetings I have with all of you. <laughs>
two minutes. As soon as all that thins out, they're just going to finish the evening. Well, you want to let them go and get set up into them? Uh, can we go and clear? Yeah, we can go and clear off, correct? Okay, that's it. Very good. That's good.